Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do a really exciting video. So today I am here to do, finally, my bookshelf tour. I've been meaning to do this for like the past six months and I've just been putting it off because I just haven't had the time, but I finally do have the time and I am here to do it today. So I have a total of five bookcases total around my room. Only three of them are actually full of the books. The ones that you guys can see behind me, and I also have one that's behind the camera that you guys cannot see. And the way I organize my bookshelves is my TBR shelf, which is this one right here. I was organized by Rainbow, and then this one over here, which is where my paperback versions of my Harry Potter books are, and then also a Star Wars shelf, which I'll get into once the tour actually starts. And then all the rest are the books I have read over the course of my lifetime. So that's how I organize those two shelves. The one behind the camera is organized by my hardcover uh, editions of Harry Potter and then I also have my Sarah J Mash shelf. So that is how I organize my bookshelf. So without putting this off any longer, let's just jump right in and get started with the tour. All right, everybody, so getting started with the tour, I'm gonna start with my TBR bookcase and this is the top shelf right over here. Just a quick overview of it. And I forgot to mention earlier that I will not be showing you guys like my other little decorations that I typically keep on my bookcase, like my Funko Pops and my candles. I do have an entire video dedicated to that, so I'll have it linked down below. So getting started with the books, the first book we have here is Face the Fire, and this is the third book in the Three Sisters Island trilogy by Nora Roberts. Next one we have is Catching Fire, which is book two in the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins. Poison by Sarah Pinnenborough. Allegiant by Barack Roth, book three in the Divergent Trilogy. June by Bever Miranda Beverly Whitmore. Artemis Fowl by Eon Colfer. The Trials of Apollo, book one, The Hidden Oracle, and this is by Rick Riordan, book one in the Trials of Apollo series. The Devil's Labyrinth by John Saul. The Idiot's Guide to Crochet Projects by Marcy Smith. Kind of a random book that is on my shelf. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Heaven and Earth, book two in the Three Sisters Island trilogy by Nora Roberts. The Awakening of Sunshine Girl, and this is by Paige McKenzie. And the last book on the shelf is The Nest, and this is by Cynthia Diapri Sweeney. So, once again, that is all for the shelf. Now, moving on to the next one. Okay, so going on to the next shelf, this is where my blues start and go into purples and pinks in the start of my white books. So the first one I have on this shelf is Stealing Snow, and this is by Danielle Page. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I'll put that back on my shelf afterwards, sorry about that guys. The uh, Marking Jay, which is book three in the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins. Glass Sword, which is book two in the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. Hazardous Duty, which is by W.E.B. Griffin and William E. Buttersworth IV. The next one is Kingdom Keepers Disney After Dark by R Ridley Pearson. The next one is Talking Jack the Ripper, and this is by Carrie Maniscalco. King's Blood, which is book two in the Kingsman Chronicles, and this is by Gilliam, Jilly, Jill Williamson. The next one was one of my most anticipated releases of this year, and that is Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. This next one is Star Wars Jedi Apprentice Special Edition Deceptions, and this is by Jude Wash Watson. The next one is The School for Good and Evil by Saman Chanani. The next one is Wings of the Wind, and this is by Colin Cosette. I hope I said that author's name right. I apologize if I didn't. This next one is Rose, Harbor, and Bloom by Demi McComber. 
The next one is Infinity by Tabitha Lord. This is actually an art copy of it. And the last one on the shelf is Binge by Tyler Oakley. One book I cannot wait to start reading. I love Tyler Oakley. So that is all for that shelf. Okay, so we're going on to my second to last shelf full of books on this particular bookcase. So the first one I have on here is Bleed, and this is by Lori for Aristolart. And go back in. There we go. The next one is Heart on the Line by Karen Wetmore. Okay, fix that afterwards. And then we have 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Retrograde by Peter Crawden. The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. Book one in the uh, Murder Complex duology, I believe. Career Writing, a uh, new edition. And this is by Diane Doubtfire. The Idle Trust, and this is by Todd M. Johnson. Scan, and this is by Walter Drury and Sarah Fine. This doesn't have a dust tracker, but this is Cujo by Stephen King. This is a really, really old book, and this is the Dark Lord trilogy, and this combines uh, Labyrinth of the Evil, Revenge of the Sith, and Lord, the Dark Lord Rise of Darth Vader, and... This is a really old copy that has water damage, so I probably will feature that in, on haul pretty soon. Next one is The Host, and this is by Stephanie Meyer. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I Am Number 4 by Pitticus Lore. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And the last one for this shelf is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts 1 and 2 by... Tom, Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. And then moving down, since there's not many books on the shelf, hopefully you guys can see it okay. It's a little dark. We have Focusing Emptiness by Michael P. Staples. Unwind by Neil Schusterman. I'm going to fix this real quick, guys. There we go. Then we have The Time Manipulator's Son by Roni Singh. I hope I said that right. I apologize if I didn't. The Miseries of Mr. Sparrows by Matthew A.J. Timmons. I'll fix that in a second. We have a couple of Star Wars books. So we have Star Wars Jedi Quest, The Way of the Apprentice by Jude Watson. And then... Star Wars Jedi Quest by Jude Watson, and let me fix this real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So, the last book I showed you guys was this one, which was Star Wars Jedi Quest by Jude Watson. And the last book on here, I'm not gonna pull it out, is the complete science fiction works of H.G. Wells. So that is my entire TBR bookcase. Now let's move on to my red books. Okay everybody, so we're moving on to my bookcase with all my red books on it. So this very top shelf, as you guys can tell, is my Harry Potter shelf. This is the one with all my paperbacks on it, and I am going to keep it the way it is just to make it a little bit easier. So for the shelf, I obviously have all the books in the background, and then over here, if you guys can see it, is the 20th anniversary edition of the Sorcerer's Stone in the Slytherin colors. And then up front, I have my Harry Potter Butterbeer cup that I got at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter a couple of years ago. And inside that, I have a cup of Butterbeer that I picked up in Salem, Massachusetts on one of my most recent visits. And then behind, or next to it, I should say, I have my Voldemort pop and my Draco Malfoy pop. And behind that, if you guys can see, it's kind of hard to see, is my Draco Malfoy wand I got at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And then right next to that, the final thing on the shelf is my Slytherin mug. I got the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and that has all of my bookmarks in it. So that is that shelf. Okay, everybody, so the next shelf on my red bookcase is my Star Wars books, and then it transitions into some series. So over here, I have a box set of the first six Star Wars novellas. They're just basically a collection of the books that are just adaptations of each individual movie. So we have this uh, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, which is my particular favorite, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. And then next to that, along the same lines, is the Clone Wars in that same edition. So that's that. So 
move that out of the way. And then next to that we have a box, another box set, and this is a three book box set with different books about different characters. So I won't pull the books out, but I will show you what the covers of each of them look like. So this is kind of what the covers look like. We have one about, hold on, there we go. We have uh, The Rise and Fall of Darth Vader, one of my favorite books of all time. This one is about Obi-Wan Kenobi, and then the last one in this box set is about Luke Skywalker, and also comes with the poster that is of Darth Vader, so that's pretty cool. The next two books are both uh, book to, or movie to book adaptations, so this is, none of these, neither of these have dust jackets, but they're almost the same thing. This one is, in particular, Attack of the Clones, so it's right here on the spine. And then the other one, which is the adaptation of my favorite movie of all time, which is Revenge of the Sith. And I will put some pictures up here if I have, uh, when I'm editing this video, I'll put some pictures of what the dust jackets look like. So the next one is kind of random, and that is Star Wars Mad Lips. And I also have a Clone Wars edition of this, but I don't know where it is. And this one I actually got when I was probably 10, uh, one of my uncles gave me this, which is Star Wars The Clone Wars, Anakin in action, because Anakin Skywalker is my favorite character in Star Wars. And then we have the last of my Star Wars books that were able to fit on the shelf. I have a few more there on my red or my TBR bookcase, and these are just some uh, coloring books. So I have this one, which has Darth Vader on the front cover, and that's the same one. And then these two right here, this one is The Clone Wars, and this one is also The Clone Wars. Oh, I do have one more Star Wars book. I forgot this one was here. It's called I Want to Be a Jedi. So those are all of the Star Wars books. Now we get into some of my other series. So the first four books right here are all part of the same series. This is a great YA mystery thriller series. If you guys want to get into the genre, I would recommend picking these up. So the first one is Blue is for Nightmares. White is for Magic. Silver is for secrets, and the fourth one is Red is for Murmurs. So there is one other book that I don't own that's actually a graphic novel, and that's called Black is for Beginnings, and those are all by Laurie Ferris Dolarts. Then we get into one of my most read series of all time. I haven't read it in years, but you guys already can tell from what it is. That is Twilight, so I have, obviously I have the first book, which is Twilight. This is the movie edition, but oh well. And the other one on this shelf is New Moon. So going on to the next shelf. Alright everybody, so this is my next shelf of red books. So the first two books are Eclipse and Breaking Dawn, books three and four in the Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer. These next three books actually should be on my TBR shelf, but those are A Tale is Old, or A Whole New World. The other ones, I'm not going to pull them out because they're kind of stuck together. The other one is once Upon a Dream, and the other is As Old as Time. And this one is in Latin Retelling, this one is Sleeping Beauty, and this one is Beauty and the Beast. The next ones are Divergent and Insurgent Books 1 and 2 in the Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth. And along with that, I also have the novellas, which is called Four. The next book, you guys who have been following my channel for a while know this this book right here is my prized possession this is my favorite book of all time that's gray by pete wentz again i love that book more than anything else in the world this next one is nora roberts dance upon the air the first book in the fair sisters island trilogy and that doesn't want to go in all right put that after. next one is star wars rebel force target and that is by, who was that by? Doesn't have an author on it. Okay. Anyways, moving on. The next one is The Strange Case of Origami Yoda. This is by Tana Engelberger. Love that book. And then the next one is Star Wars Epic Battles. And this is by Simon Benkoff. The next one is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And the last one for this shelf is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. So that's, that's shelf. Okay, everybody, so second to last shelf here, we have Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Sorry, this is a little dark. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And 
art copy of The Infinity of You and Me by J.Q. Coyle. Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Draper. Next one is The After Party by Yana Perkle. This is a poetry collection. The next one is Revenants of the Odyssey Home by Scott Kaufman. And the next two books are the same thing. So we have Children of Eden by Joey Graceffa. So that's those two. And then the next one is In Real Life by Joey Graceffa as well. The next two are, Paper, are Looking for Alaska and Paper Towns by John Green. We have Invitation by Bill Myers, Frank Pariti, Angel Hunt, and Elson Gansky, which is a bind up of short stories. Wonder by RJ Policio. Wild Spark by Leah Devlin. The 15th of June by Brent Jones. Animal Farm by George Orwell. The next one is, I'm sorry my camera's a little shaky, A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Lagoon. And the last one for the shelf is Wolfie's Wolves by Kale Armstrong and M.A. Marr. And going down to my very last shelf, again these are just a little hard to see because of the lighting, but this one is NSA by Benny Nealon. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. This one in the Red Queen series. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. The Pharaoh's Cat by Maria Louisa Lane. Dark Net by Benjamin Percy. An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. And the last book on the shelf is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Other Works by Lord Lewis Carroll. So that is everything on my red shelf. So moving on to two of my other shelves, which are my Harry Potter and Hardcover shelf and my Sarah Jones. Okay, shelf. everybody. So this is my one of my final shelves. This is probably my favorite shelf out of my entire collection of books. This is my Harry Potter and Hardcovers book shelf, like I said earlier. So in order of the books, obviously we have the Sorcerer's Stone, the Chamber of Secrets, the Prisoner of Azkaban, the Goblet of Fire. I do not own Order of the Phoenix and Hardcover just yet. Half Blood Prince, and then the Deathly Hallows. So that is that entire shelf. And the last shelf I have here today is my Sarah J. Mass shelf. So we have in the UK paperback editions, I have Throne of Glass as well as Empire of Storms. And then we have Tower of Dawn. And those are all the Throne of Glass books. And then I have my Akatar trilogy. So I have Akatar or Corn Thrones and Roses. The Court of Mist and Theory, and last but not least, is A Court of Wings and Ruin. And that is my entire bookshelf tour. Okay, everybody, so that's all I'm going to have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Like I said earlier, I will have my video where I talked about everything else that I kept on my bookshelves, like my Funko Pops and Candles. That will be linked down below if you guys would like to see a full, another full kind of bookshelf tour. That will be, like I said, down below. Along with all my social media links, my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and my blog are all linked down below as always. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!